Hi, this is Terry Vanoy, and welcome into my online classroom. This is Math with Mr. V. I want you to remember that while you watch these videos, these lesson videos, I am going to talk you through the concepts and then present a problem for you to try. So grab a piece of paper and you can pause, rewind, even fast forward anytime you'd like. So good luck. Let me know how it goes. As a review of section 8.3, what I'd like you to do is this warm-up problem. I have a right triangle, ABC, where the right angle is at C, and the dimensions are 10 inches for the hypotenuse, 6 inches for the short leg, 8 inches for the long leg. Here's the question. Name three ways of finding the measure of angle B. You're going to be using sine, cosine, and tangent. Good luck. In order to find what angle B is, I need to accurately find out what, um, how I label the sides of my triangle. In relation to angle B, the hypotenuse is here, the longest side. The adjacent side is the one created by angle B, and this is the opposite side. Now we can use our sine, cosine, and tangent ratios to figure this out. So if I want to use the sine of angle B, then I'm going to have the opposite 8 over the hypotenuse 10. If I want to use the cosine of angle B, I would use the adjacent, which is 6, over the hypotenuse of 10. If I use the tangent function, tangent of B is going to be the opposite over adjacent, which is 8 over 6. Let's figure out the decimal values of these. 8 tenths is 0 0.8, 6 tenths is 0 0.6, and 8 over 6 is 1.3 repeating. Now you know that we are looking for the angled measure, so I'm going to use the sine negative 1 function, which is the inverse of sine. So type in the 0.8 value and find out what the sine negative 1 or inverse sine is. Or I type in 0.6 and use the inverse of the cosine function. Or I type in 1.3 repeating and use the inverse tangent function. Either way, my final answer is going to be 53.1 degrees rounded. All right. How did you do? Hopefully you understood the concepts. Um, remember that um, if you want a related video or a concept that's similar and or just extra practice, email me and let me know. I can record a new one for you and we can customize it. Once again, this is Terry Vanoy in my online classroom with Math with Mr. V.